Can you guys hear me all right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. Can I mute mine? All right. Oh, there's more. There's still. Oh, God. Let me see. If I step back, can you guys still hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if you can hear me through the mic or if you can hear me through the screen. Uh, is there a USB cable plugged into the computer? Let's see. All right, one more minute. Um, I have Mike texting me, telling me what to do. <laughs> and then we'll start. How are you guys feeling today? What are you going to, what do you want to work on today? Uh, nothing special for me. Okay. Anybody else? No, nothing. You guys just want to do yoga. That's it. Whatever, whatever yoga we get to do. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> All right. All right, thank you for bearing with me here. I'm gonna check. I have my tech support here. I don't know, it seems like we've been doing this forever. It should be, uh, it should be there. I can try and plug in the USB. Okay, oh good, so it's not me. It's, it's the technology, because I wonder sometimes if, if it's the buttons that I'm not seeing or not pressing. Ah, uh, let's try. I'm gonna give it one more. Oh, there it is. We have a mic. Yay. And you guys can still hear me, right? Yes, very okay. well. Awesome. Okay, so we'll start. Okay. So if you lose me at some point, as far as the sound, just, just wave and do jumping jacks or something. <laughs> All right. So find yourself a comfortable sitting position, whatever that may be for you this morning. Sit up nice and tall. Good, let's take a few deep breaths. Just kind of allow ourselves to settle in physically and mentally. Keep your eyes open or you can close your eyes, whatever works better for you. Making a conscious decision to set all your worries, all your troubles, all the distractions aside for the time being. making a commitment to be present for the duration of this practice. Your awareness to your breath. I'm just following the rise and fall of the breath, rise and fall, 
inspiration and all of the exhalation. attention wanders off, gently let go of the distraction and come back to your breath. Bring your palms together, bring them to your heart, and open your three arms. You can join me, or you can just listen. If you join me and take a deep breath. Dedicating the merits of this practice to all the beings everywhere. Wishing all the beings to be free from suffering, to be happy, to be healthy. Wishing all the beings, wishing all of us to find a way to live with ease of mind and of heart in the hard situations we find ourselves in. Ease of mind, ease of heart. your palms, you can open your eyes. We're going to start with a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing. I hope everybody's hands are clean before you start touching your face. Left hand's going to come into Yana Mudra, connecting your index and thumb. Right hand, you're going to bend the first two fingers down. You're going to use your thumb and the other two fingers on your right hand to block your nostrils. So thumb comes on one side, the other two fingers come on the other side. <coughs> now hold your nose with that. That's right. Make sure it's the right hand. Make sure it's the right hand. Good. Wonderful. Your left hand is on your knee facing up. That's it. Perfect. Now before you pinch your nose, breathe out completely. Now close the right side. Inhale through the left. Good. Hold both nostrils. Hold your breath. <coughs> Open the right side, breathe out. <coughs> breathe through the left, inhale. Hold both nostrils. Out through the other side, keep going. Okay, in through the left. Hold both nostrils, hold your breath, and then out through the right side, exhale. Good, keep going. In through the right. Hold your breath, hold your nostrils. Out through the other side.
go on. In from the same side. Okay. Hold the nostrils. Hold your breath. Then out through the opposite. Okay. Go on. Keep the pattern. Keep breathing. Steady deep breaths, beautiful. See if you can hold a little bit longer, if you can make the retention a little longer. No pain, no strain. Next time you reach exhalation through the left nostril. As you finish exhaling, you can release your right hand down and take a couple of resting breaths. Ultra nostril breathing is a wonderful technique to help settle our nervous system down to help focus our mind. When you're ready, open your eyes. Let's come up to stand. Let's come to the front of our mats. And we're going to start with the postures. Adjust, do whatever you need, and come to the front of your mat. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, bringing your feet together. Very good. Finding your mountain pose, standing up tall and strong, bringing those qualities of a mountain, grounded, tall, rising high. Take a few deep breaths right there. Now bring the palms to your heart. Dedicating the merits of this practice to all of the beings everywhere. Wishing all the beings health and happy, joyful, positive outlook on things and hope and strength. Now, as you inhale, lift your arms up, stretching the front of the body. Exhale, fold forward. Feel free to bend the knees if you need to. Step your right foot back, bring the knee down to the mat, lifting your heart. Now palms down on the mat, step back into plank. Good. As you exhale, lower your knees down, bend the elbows, chest and chin come down. And inhale, lifting up, cobra pose. Tuck your toes under, lift the hips all the way back down. And right foot forward, left knee down, look up. And then feet together at the front. Knee inhale, lift and up. Arms to your heart, exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold forward. 
Send your left foot as far back as you can. Knee on the mat, left in the heart. Step back into plank. Lowering down knees, chest and chin. Inhale, Pooja Mbaksin, Cobra Pose. Tuck your toes under, Adam Obashkanaksin, lift your hips, downward dog. Left foot forward, right knee down on the mat, lift your heart. And feet together at the front. Inhale, rise. Palms to your heart, like so. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, fold forward. Right foot back. Knee on the back, lifting your heart. Step back into plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, downward dog. Hips go all the way back. Right foot forward, left knee down, looking up. Feet together at the front. Inhale, rise. Palms to your heart, exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward. Left foot back, knee on the mat, lift your heart. Step back into plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Bhujangasana, cobra pose, inhale. Adho Mukha Shavasana, exhale, hips go all the way back and up. Left foot forward, right knee down, walking up. And feet together at the front. Inhale, rise. Arms to your heart. Stay right there. Take a couple of breaths. Now, as you inhale, stretch all the way up and arch back as much as you can. Keep your feet active. Keep your core active. Take one more breath there. Keep breathing. And exhale. Fold forward. Now stay right there. Feel free to bend your knees. You can hold the back of the legs. That's it. Relax your neck. Breathe. Steady, deep breaths here. Now lower the palms down to the mat, step or walk your feet all the way back into a plank pose. Okay. From your plank, knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga if you like. As you inhale, cobra pose, lift your heart. As you exhale, sit back with your heels all the way back with your hip, put your seats towards your heels. Again, inhale, slide forward into a cobra pose. If you cannot slide all the way forward, lay on your belly and let your go. Inhale, lift in your heart. Back to your heels. Okay, one more. Inhale, slide forward. Ujjanvasana. Exhale, downward dog. This time, lift the hips all the way back. Taking five deep breaths here. Relax your neck. Breathe deeply. Now inhale, left leg up to the ceiling. 
stretch it out. Left leg up to the floor. Okay, now step your left foot forward between the hands. Lower your right knee down. Now you have options. You can have your hands on the front knee, you can have your hands on your lower back, or you can reach your arms all the way up. Find your breath. One point of concentration. Keep your mind focused. As you exhale, release. Both hands come down into the wheels or flows. Both hands come on the inside of your left foot. You can wiggle your left foot off to the side if you need to. Good. Let's tuck the back toes under and lift the knee off the floor. We're going to rock forward and back a little bit. We're going to rock up and down. Okay. And if it's available to you, lower your right knee down. Okay. You see how that feels? Maybe your right forearm will come down, maybe not. Okay, please respect your body. And just hold the pose. Okay, even if you're higher up, just hold the pose. As we hold the pose longer, over time, the body begins to open. Keep breathing deeply and keep your mind. Come back onto your palms. Step back into plank. Good. Knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga dandasana here. Cobra or upward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Keep your elbows slightly bent, your feet together. Squeeze your buttocks, keep lifting up your head. Breathe. As the back of the head, And release downward facing dog all the way back. Taking a few deep breaths here. Now, as you inhale, right leg goes up to the ceiling. Stretch it up. Good. Now step your right foot forward between the hands. Left knee goes down. And again, you have options. You can have the hands on the front knee. This is the easier variation. And you're still sinking the hips down, move to your heart. The next option is to have your hands on your lower back and draw the elbows towards each other. Or you can lift your arms up. Try to get your arms behind your ears. Lift your chin a little bit. Keep your neck long. Breathe. Slowly release. Lower the hands down on the inside of your right foot. You may need to walk your right foot off to the side a little bit. To lizard pose. Tuck your back toes under, lift the knee off the floor, rock forward and back. Bring both hands on the inside of your right foot. That's it. Okay, rocking forward and back, rocking up and down. Okay. From there, you can lower the left knee down on the mat. See how that feels? Maybe the left forearm wants to come down, maybe it doesn't. Remember to open up your chest, pull the center of the heart forward. Breathe deeply.
come back onto your palms and step back into plank. Again, knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga dandasana. Slide into your cobra pose, lifting your heart, holding your upper few breaths. Heels together. Squeeze your buttocks. Elbows are hugging the sides of your ribcage. Elbows a little bent. Now press your head towards your seats. Squeeze your buttocks and push the back of the head towards your seat. Breathe deep. And release with control. Tuck your toes under, downward dog. All the way back. Taking slow, deep breaths. Keep your mind focused, keep your mind present. Now we can let that up to the ceiling. Stretch it up. Step forward between the hands, warrior one. Rotate your right heel flat, inhale, lifting the arms up. Take a breath shift. Now from here, we're going to shift forward into warrior. A balancing pose. You're going to balance in the front foot, shift your torso, shift the weight forward. You can have your hands in front of you. You can also send your arms behind you. See if you can add a little back bend to it, right? So there are lots of variations. Maybe we just, you know, maybe we're just here finding our balance. That's wonderful. If you're feeling steady, you're trying to lift your back foot off the floor, mm -hmm. lift it a little higher. Breathe. Wonderful. Now slowly release, land the back foot. Let's open up to warrior two. That means you're going to open up the arms, you're going to open up your hips. You may need to walk your right foot a little further back. Find your warrior two. Find your breath. Lower your hips a little bit. Now press into your feet. Inhale, extend the front leg. Good. When you're ready, lean forward and down, finding your triangle pose. This is a wide stand for a triangle. So see if you want to navigate here. If you want to bring your back foot a little closer, if you need to adjust, go for it. If you're okay with this wide triangle, then stay in it. Breathe deeply. Now another option, we can shift into a half moon or you can stay exactly where you are. So for the half moon, we're gonna bend the front knee. We're gonna move the left hand forward, shift the weight forward, and see if our right foot will come off the floor. Find your breath. Now from your half moon, finding your way back, bend the front knee, warrior two. Landing in your warrior two. Beautiful. Take an extra breath here. And then spinal twist. Right elbow comes to the outside of your left knee. You can lift the back heel off the floor. Find your twist. Breathe deeply. You're going to look up over your left shoulder if you can. One more breath. Now returning to your warrior two. You're going to open back up. Good. <laughs> Wonderful. Good. Now send the hands behind your back and chill out the fingers. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, humble warrior. Forehead towards your left big toe. 
when someone in that general direction, the more you bend the front knee, the lower you're going to have. Deep breathing. Just a couple more breaths here. Wonderful. And you just release the hands, bring them down to the mat, step back into plank. Taking the flow or skipping it if you like. You can go knees, chest, and chin. Hold your arm down. And downward facing dog. Okay, you have a couple of breaths here. You can spend them in downward dog. You can spend them in child's pose. Or you can bring your forearms down to the mat if you have a forearm balance practice. Or you can try dolphin. You can try one leg up. You can try kicking up into your inversion if you like. If you have practice, if you have experience for that. Now finding your way back to your downward facing dog. Inhaling right leg up to the ceiling. Stepping forward into warrior one. Now beginning to shift your weight forward, finding your warrior three. So remember, any variation, as long as you stand on your right foot, we're good. Right? If you want to take this further, you can send your arms back, you can lift your left foot off the floor, nice and high, arch through your back, breathe. Now beginning to find your way into your warrior two. So you're going to place your back foot down. You're going to open your arms up. Now see if you need to adjust your back foot a little bit further. Sink your hips down. Now extending the front leg. You can keep your legs this width, if that's what you did on the first side. Or if you want to move your left foot a little closer, we're going into a triangle pose. You lean to the right, lower the right hand down into your triangle. Find your breath. Now from your triangle, you can move into half moon, or you can remain in triangle if you need to. If you're moving in, you're going to bend the front knee, shift your right hand forward, and lift the left leg up. Find your breath. Now slowly with control, find your way back into your warrior two. With your next exhalation, spinal twist, your left elbow comes to the outside of your right knee. Palms together, draw your left hip back. Don't let your left hip come down. Right, breathe, try to look up over your right shoulder. Unwrap back to your warrior two. Bring the hands behind you. Interlock the fingers. Inhale, lift your heart. Arch back a little bit. As you exhale, pull forward. Forehead towards your right big toe. 
the more you bend the front knee, the lower you're going to end up. Breathe deeply. And release. Arms down to the mat. Stepping back into plank. From their knees, chest and chin, a child around the Dandasana. Cobra upward facing dog. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Again, you can remain in downward dog. You can take child's pose. Or you can try dolphin. With your forearms on the mat, hips up in the air. Or maybe one leg up, or you can jump up into a forearm balance if you have it. Finding your way back to your downward dog. Okay. For the next one, we're going to do side plank, Vasha Stasana. And there are lots of variations. So we're going to start on the left side. And the easiest one is your left knee goes down to the mat, your right foot flat, your right arm up. Okay. That's the easiest side plank. You can also have both legs straight. You can also have your right foot on the floor behind the left. Right, lots of variations. We can choose any side plank, beautiful. Mm -hmm. On the left side, breathe right there, good. Stay a little longer. Very good, switch to the other side. Good, same variation on the other side, take your time. Remember to have your fingertips spread and keep lifting your hips away from the floor. Beautiful, back to the center. Knees, chest and chin or chaturanga down to the mat. Cobra, upward facing dog as you inhale, lift your heart. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Good, beautiful. So from here, I'm really going to count on you guys being responsible. I'm going to invite you into a pigeon pose. Now, if you know that you have knee issues, that means no pigeon pose for you, please be responsible, be kind to your body. So we're going to start on the left side. You're going to bring your left knee in front of you, just like that. Now, if this doesn't sit well with your knees, you're gonna go on your back, you're gonna lay on your back, and you're gonna bring your left ankle above your right knee just so, and you can get a hold of your right thigh, and you can, okay, and you can spend your time there, okay? So if anybody needs that modification, please do so, please do change. Now, if your knee is okay, if you hear with me in pigeon pose, walk your hands back. Lift your heart like a proud New York City pigeon. All right, chest popped up. Put a smile on your face. Take a few breaths here. Now see, now let's see if we can bring maybe the hands to the lower back. See how that goes. And form the elbows straight back. So that means you have to keep your legs nice and engaged. Now, if this feels okay, maybe we can reach the arms up. So remember, take it step by step. If you need to be here, maybe your hands need to be on the floor, then do that. Or anything in between. 
Take a couple more breaths. Keep your legs engaged, tap your floor engaged. And slowly release, beautiful. You're gonna release your hands down. And now we're gonna lower the torso down. So maybe that means you lower it down just a couple degrees. Maybe that means you can go a little further. Again, there should be no discomfort in your knees. You're looking for a stretch in the back of the head. If as you move in deeper, you notice that your knees not tap, please back out. Now, take you all the way down, come up onto your palms. Back your back toes under. We're going to move into a downward dog all the way. Extend your left leg. Pedal the heels out to the floor. Make notice the difference between the sides. Now, the same thing on the other side. And again, if you modify, go ahead and modify. Be respectful of your body. Come to your body. Now this time the right knee is going to come forward. And once you land, you can start walking your hands back. Now again, if this is not okay for your knees, you're laying on your back and your right ankle comes just above your left knee. You're getting a hold of your left thigh. Again, if you're here with me, you can Lifting up, your legs are really engaged. There's a common misconception about pigeon pose where you just kind of soften all the way into it. Right? So instead, engage your legs, puff up your chest, lift the chest. And then let's start, let's experiment with the hands a little bit. Let's see if we can bring the hands to the lower back. Breathe deeply, stay focused. Right? If your hands are on your lower back, you're trying to the elbows towards each other to open up the chest. Maybe your arms are up. Find your breath. Now slowly release the hands wherever they are. And begin to lower your torso. And again, maybe lowering the torso means it's the five or three degree angle. That's wonderful. Respect your body. If it's accessible to you to go further, then you go further down. No pain, no strain, no pushing. It's okay to be exactly where you are. It's just hold forward. Commit to holding. Commit to staying. And begin to walk your hands back. Coming back onto your palms, tuck your left toes under, find your way into your downward dog. You pedal out your right leg. And if you've been on your back this entire time, come join us back in downward dog. Taking a few deep breaths here. Try to draw your lower abdomen in. Try to lift your tailbone up. Just breathe there, take a few moments here for one pose, breathe space. Now look towards your hands, let's step, walk, maybe jump up here. As you get there, inhale halfway up. And as you exhale, fall forward. Feel free to bend the knees as much as you need. Relax your neck. Lift the shoulders away from your ears. 
see if you can hold the back of the legs. And release the legs, bring the palms together. Rest firmly into your feet, engage your core, engage the pelvic floor. Inhale, lifting up, lift all the way up and arch back if you can. And return to the center, palms to your heart. into our balancing poses. We're going to start with lifting the right knee to the chest as high as you can. And then you can hug it in. And see if you can balance here. Now, if this is, um, if what comes after is challenging and not accessible to you at this point, you're going to be really now, those of you who can, see if you can pull forward a little bit more and get a hold of the bottom of your right foot. So that means your belly and your chest, your abdomen comes together. Mm -hmm. Right. And then we're going to try to extend the right leg in front of us and lean the torso towards that right leg. While balancing. You got this. Breathe. Concentrate. Beautiful. Now, if you extend with the leg, you bend the leg. We're going to return to where we started, hugging the knees, standing up tall, and release. All right. All right. Let's try this with the other side. I'm going to face you guys now so that I can see you. All right. Left knee come to your chest. Give it a nice hug all the way in. Press the belly and the thighs together. Now, fold forward a little bit. See if you can extend your arms and get a hold of the bottom of the foot. Mm -hmm. Find your balance. Now again, if every additional step gets too much, stay in the previous step that you can hear. Right? So if you're good here, stay here. Now begin, if you can, slowly extending the leg out in front of you. Remain folded forward. Don't lift your torso. You're trying to put your torso over your leg. Breathe. Now bending that leg again, returning to the previous step. Good, hugging the knee to your chest and release. Good, well done. All right, now guess what? We're gonna do this one more time. And I'm gonna come closer and I'm gonna talk you through it and I'm gonna watch you guys. All right, let's do this again. Starting on the right side, find what you need. Mm -hmm. Everybody's good? Hug your right knee to your chest. Okay, hug your right knee to your chest. All the way, bring it higher. You want to press your thigh right up against your abdomen as much as you can. Yep, so there's no space between your thigh and your chest. Good, wonderful. Now either remain here or if you're going for the next step, reach for your foot. Now you see how your belly comes right up against the thigh. Keep it there. And start navigating. Start <laughs> negotiating with your legs. See if it will extend for you. Beautiful. Lower your torso. It's like you're going to make a sandwich of your torso and the leg. So put the torso on top of the leg. And breathe. Remember the breathe. Yes. Three. Four. And five. Now reverse. Bend the knee. Lift the torso. And release the leg down. Well done. Beautiful. All right. This is a new one. Good job, you guys. Let's do the other side. Same thing on the other side. You got it. So step by step, hug the knee, bring it right up against the abdomen, 
right? Use your abdomen, good. Your chest and your thigh, there's no space in between. Good, reach for your foot. If you can, reach for your foot. Good. And then start, start negotiating with your legs. See if you can extend that leg little by little. Now lower the torso towards the leg, right? So there's still no space. If we hear there's no space. It's like we're gonna put our torso right over the leg, beautiful. Your standing leg is straight and strong. Very good, now bend the knee, <laughs> good job. Lift up, reverse step by step. Very good, and release. Well done, good job. All right, okay, good. It was good to see you guys up close. Hmm. All right, from here, lay down on your back. Lay down on your back after this challenging standing sequence. Lay down and rest. Don't go to sleep yet. <laughs> Just relax your body completely and notice the effects of the standing sequence that we did. Notice the effects of the balancing postures we just did on your body and on your mind. Now take a nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, stretch your entire body, and then come up to sit. Okay, beautiful. Now we're gonna try a spinal twist here. So we're gonna bring our left foot in, okay. Now, if you can, the right leg, you're gonna bend it back, right? If that doesn't work, keep it extended, okay? So my left foot is towards my inner right thigh, my right foot is on the back. And I'm gonna try to kind of navigate this right foot closer to my seat, but I'm not sitting on it, yes? Now, those of you who are bendy, if we have, we did a little bit of hip openers here today. So if you have a half lotus, then that top foot will be in a half lotus, but you would want the knee to release them. Okay, so that's optional. Now your left hand is gonna go to the floor behind you. If you can, send the left hand all the way around and get a hold of your right thigh, or get a hold of the shirt on the other side. I don't know if you can see my hand here. And then the right hand is going to come to the outside of your left knee, and you're going to twist all the way back. So give it a try. See what yours looks like. See what yours feels like. Mm -hmm. Now check in on your right seat. Place your right seat back down on the mat. It tends to want to come up. And stay. Breathe. back to the center. Let's switch the legs to go to the other side. So extend them. Now your right foot's going to come towards your you know, left thigh. Maybe your left foot's going to go behind you. Maybe not, right? Adjust that left foot to come closer to your seat if you can, as long as you're not sitting on it. Okay, make sure that both of these seats are evenly grounded. Right? Sometimes if the hip flexibility is not there, you can keep your left leg extended in front of you. That's going to help you. You can also have a folded, right? You can have a folded blanket to sit on. It's going to elevate your hips, make it a little more comfortable. Now, right hand goes back. Maybe it's on the floor behind you. Maybe we can send it all the way around so it'll come towards our left thigh. Maybe we can grab our shirt or pants somewhere there on the left side. 
And your left hand is going to come to the outside of your right knee. And you're going to do your very best to keep your hips grounded as you turn through your upper torso, as you turn through your upper body. Breathe. Make sure your left seat is on the floor. And come back to the center. Slowly release. Very good. Extend the legs. Get shake them out. All right, we're gonna move into our finishing sequence. Now, if you have an inversion practice, go for it. Right? If you have a headstand practice, go for it. I'm not gonna teach it because if somebody, I know most of you guys pretty well, but if somebody takes this class after, I don't want to guide somebody into trouble. So if you have a practice, go for it. If you do not have a headstand practice or a forearm balance, we're going to try dolphin. For the dolphin pose, you're going to make sure you can touch your opposite upper arms, like so. And then you place them down on the floor, your elbows and jump on your shoulders. And you're going to release your hands and bring them in front of you. So they're sort of like a triangle that gets formed with your forearms. And then you're going to tuck your toes under and lift your hips up. And you can remain here. You're going to focus on pushing your chest towards your thighs. So pushing your head away from your hands. And breathe like that. Now you can remain here. This is very mild. Um, it doesn't feel mild, but um, you're not likely to hurt yourself in this pose. My head is not touching the floor. My head is hanging. So there's no pressure on my neck. And those of you who want to go further, you can have one back up. You can take a little hugs. Taking a couple more breaths wherever you are. And then slowly finding your way down. All right, beautiful. Mm -hmm. As you find your way down, Let's switch and go on our back, setting up for the shoulder stand. So if you have a shoulder stand, go up. If you do not have a shoulder stand practice, or if you have neck injuries, or today is a day where you don't want to do shoulder stand, they're sleeping tight. Your back is on the floor, legs and arms are up. If you're going to go for the shoulder stand, you can rock yourself up, get a hold of your back, and right up. Now from your shoulder stand, find your way into a plow pose. And if you've been holding sleeping tightly, you can release and rest. And then slowly finding your way down. And you're going to set up for the fish pose. For the fish, you're going to slide both of your arms under your back. 
You're going to end up sitting on your forearms or your wrists. Feet together, point your toes. Now press into your elbows, lift your heart. And let the top of the head gently touch the floor. All the way is on the elbow. The head is just gently touching the floor. Find your breath. And slowly release. Back of the head on the left. Release all the way. Now bend your knees. Place your feet on the left. Send them out for bridge pose. You're going to press your arms into the mat. And when you're ready, lift the hips up. Press your shoulders down. Push your feet into the floor. And then push your heart towards your chest. Find your breath. If you can, interlock the fingers under your back. Slowly release with control. Take a resting breath. Second round, you can do another bridge pose. If you feel ready for the wheel, you can go right up into the wheel. Otherwise, another bridge. If your legs are really strong, squeeze your buttocks. Engage the legs. And then press your chest towards your chin to open up your chest, to open up your arm. If you can, interlock the fingers. Slowly release with control. Take a rest in breath. Okay. Now, last third round here. You can do another bridge pose and just concentrate on holding it. Or you can try the wheel. If you have the wheel pose, go for it. If not, another bridge pose, right? Beginners, remain in bridge. Slowly find your way down. Release. Now let's switch on to the belly. We have options here. You can practice locust, or you can practice bow pose. Right? For the bow, you get hold of your ankles, and you pull your gut. So find what works for you when you're ready. Come on up. 
locust or a pose. For the locust pose, your legs and arms off the floor. You just lay it in. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Don't let your knees go too far apart. And slowly release, breath and fall. Now, hands under the shoulders, child's pose. Sit back with your heels, nice and slow. Now rolling back up. Final spinal twist. You may need to adjust yourself a little bit. Now left knees forward, right foot's going to step over the left. Now, if this is too much for your knees or for your hips, keep the bottom leg, keep your left leg extended. Okay? Make sure your right foot is grounded, right hand behind you. Right seat should be on the mat. Don't let it be hanging out. Uh, down on the mat. Left arm goes up to help you lift through the ribcage. As you exhale, twist. Look all the way back over your right shoulder. Press your right hip down to the mat. And left your heart. Back to the center. And let's switch to the other side. Mm -hmm. Switch the legs. Right under, left over. Making sure your left seat is on the mat. Left hand behind you. Right arm goes up as you inhale. And twist as you breathe. the center, extend the legs out in front of you, and lay down on your back, preparing for Shavasana. Yes, go ahead and lay down, make yourself comfortable, make all the necessary adjustments. Relax. Let your body melt into the floor. Bring your attention to your right foot. Relax your right foot completely. Right ankle, right lower leg, and right knee. Relaxed. Right upper leg, front and back and sides of the thighs. And right hip. Relaxed. Now bring your attention to your left foot. Feel your left foot relax. Toes and the rest of the foot, your left ankle, relax. Lower leg, knee, 
left upper leg and left hip. Relax. Feel both of your hips becoming heavy and sinking into the floor. Low belly is soft, low back is soft. Middle and upper back. Relax. Shoulders, upper arms, forearms, wrists, and hands. Relax. Relax the front and the back of the neck. And all the muscles of the face. Feel the muscles of the face soften. Let your mind rest. Allow yourself to remain absolutely unconcerned for the time. And gradually beginning to deepen your breath. Inhaling into every cell, every organ, every tissue. With gratitude, with kindness. Inhaling into every non-physical, non-tangible part of you. With gratitude and with kindness. Now slowly beginning to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. And from there, taking any stretch, any movement you like. Coming back to your body. You can hug your knees, you can gently roll over to the side. Mm -hmm. And eventually finding your way into a sitting position. Bring your palms together, bring them to your heart. We'll close this practice with gratitude. We'll close this practice wishing peace to all the beings everywhere. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you very much for your practice. Namaste. Thank you, guys. Let me see if I can. Thanks.
Like you can unmute you one by one. You can unmute yourself if you want to say Thank something. You, How are you all feeling? Good. Great. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Sasha. Yeah, you feeling good? Great. I can't hear you for some reason. Thank you, Sasha. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sasha. Well, it's good to see you all. Thanks. Good. Yeah, right. Bye, guys. Have Everybody a wonderful have a one day. day. It was really lovely to practice with you all. Thanks, Thanks again. Thank you. Bye.